What is going on everybody? Mr. Lad over here, sorry for the awkward angles. I'm the king of awkward angles and I'm always going to be the king of awkward angles. So today I'm gonna to be reviewing a product. It's in a non-designated bottle. You, of course, you know Chocolate Thunder from Car Candy, but I'm gonna talk about uh, superior products. What we know it of it as is Rage. That's where this product has really made its go-to in the industry. But for some reason, one reason or another, they needed to change the name from Rage to Dark Fury. I'm guessing they thought that Dark Fury was better marketing, it made more sense, and I kind of agree with it. And so basically what it is, is Dark Fury, or Rage if you want to say it like that, is a non-acid wheel cleaner. It is brown in color, it is awkward in texture, and it is smelly in smell. I guess, I guess that's what makes sense here. Um, but I've actually been using it for quite some time, and of course, this video is long overdue. But the product is actually fairly effective, and I'm going to go ahead and take you into my world and kind of how I use it. It's a very standard wheel cleaner, um, but I want to kind of show you how exactly to use it. In the mobile environment, this product actually does make a lot of sense to use. Um, of course, it's great for wheels. You can use it on tires. I don't like it on tires. I always use a designated degreaser or tire cleaner, um, but you can use it on tires and it will work. Basically, it is like chocolate thunder, as you know very well on my channel. Just it kind of amps it up a little bit. So I have it here diluted uh, four to one, which is the designated or that is the, recommend, the recommended dilution ratio. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and tackle this wheel here. So this wheel is on a Ford Explorer. Uh, it's probably got quite a few months of dirt. They don't drive too much, but the dirt's been setting on there for about a few months. So, you know, it's going to need some, some TLC over here. So I'm going to go ahead and move everything aside. And the first thing I'm going to do is kind of rinse off the area. No dirt's really coming off. That's just, that means how that just goes to show how aggressive or how strong this dirt has been setting on if that even makes any sense i don't know if that's the right way to say it or not um, but i'm gonna go ahead and spray down the face of the wheel now for me personally i i prefer to do a um i usually prefer to have it as a spray on pressure wash or rinse off method here but since i'm going to be scrubbing anyway i'm not going to do that i just have it diluted in a four to one dilution ratio here and i know that i'm going to go ahead and need to um, use some type of brushes and agitation here. So we've got me one of these Speedmaster brushes here. That's been upgrade since the last time you've seen me do a wheel video. But instantly, this stuff is the, the, the brake dust, the grime is coming off very easily. Now, if you're the kind of person that doesn't mind touching every wheel that you detail and you don't mind taking brushes up to the wheel and all that stuff, um, you know, the four to one dilution ratio is probably optimal because the foam that gets kicked out when you're using a speed masher brush, see, see how foamy that is and nasty? Well, that kicks out and gets all over you. Well, that means if it's at four to one, it's not going to be as dirty, if that's the right word. Um, and, that, and that's good. And that's, a, you don't want all this black gunk and brown gunk getting all over you, of course. So, we'll go ahead and take care. Brush, whatever. Use gloves, guys. Come on, they're cheap. Use gloves. Don't be like me. Don't be like me. And be glove-free. You want to go ahead and have a glove. Very easy to work with. Now, I like to go ahead. Got a truck driving the by over here. I like to go ahead and spray it all over the wheel first. First of all, the product is very cheap. A gallon of this stuff is about $20 and diluted four to one. You're talking about, what is that, $4 a gallon, it turns out to being. So, uh, you know, that, that works. That, that's extremely cost effective in my book here. Uh, of course, I got it from O'Reilly's. That's pretty much the best place to get it from. Really, the only place to get it from. Um, but I like to spray it all over down because, or all over the face of the wheel and the barrels and all that, because I just wanted to go ahead and soak up whatever dirt's there. If I miss any with the brush, hopefully the pressure washer gets the remainder of it up. And let's go ahead and let's give it a try. See how we look. Of course, I got to turn on the pressure washer. So uh, yeah, that'd be interesting. Okay, there we go. There we go!
Now there's just a few. There's just a couple spots on the inner barrel that we're gonna go ahead and hit again. Now, when it comes to hitting inner barrels, you know, you might want to go ahead and have a more aggressive dilution. So maybe for barrels, you want to do three to, three to one, two to one, or whatever. But even at four to one, especially with wheels that you maintain, um, you know, that's not going to be a problem at all. And, uh, you know, if it's a vehicle that you don't maintain, you know, then you charge accordingly. And therefore, it becomes, it becomes worth it in your end. That was weird. Okay. That's a clean wheel right there. I'm gonna take in real quick. Now there's still like a couple spots on the inner barrel and all that stuff, but you know those spots. A lot of times those don't leave. Um, you have to go more aggressive, and I might even follow up with another step just to make sure that the inner barrel is all good. But it looks good. Uh, the cool thing about this product is it does add a bit of a. I'm not gonna say shine because it's not a protectant here, but the product does um, kind of brighten the wheel a little bit, and so that's a good thing. And, and so overall. Um, overall, if you find yourself going over to O'Reilly's, you can go ahead and uh, make yourself or make your way over to O'Reilly's. Pick up a gallon of the stuff; they'll have to order it for you. But in all, in all honesty, like you know, you know me, I love Chocolate Thunder. Um, I find this product like Chocolate Thunder; it just kind of is amplified by a level. So, if Chocolate Thunder is like an eight on the aggressive scale, I think that Rage is probably a nine on the aggressive scale. If that makes any sense. The way I predominantly use it is I'll have diluted one to one, spray it, rinse off with the pressure washer, and move on with my day here. But I, I knew I was going to have to do some type of agitation, so therefore I just went ahead and just had it at the four to one dilution ratio, so I could do the scrub or the contact wash, if that makes any sense. So, guys, Mr. Light over here signing out. If you have any questions about any of the products that I use, any videos you'd like to see in the future, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. Wax that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Them. All that good stuff. Love you all. Take care.